Hey everybody, it's Kay and I'm here today with my Boxy Charm by Ipsy for August of 2024. So let's see what's in here. So I do also get the Icon box. It has not shipped yet. Um, I like to get both of them. Boxy, this particular box here um, comes every month and then quarterly on the other subscription it upgrades to icon box and I like that I'm really looking forward to it so this is the boxy charm box and it says the beauty of Olympics so it's got some things on the front that you could have gotten and there's some more things in here that you could have gotten as your power pick or as one of your choice items and then on August 12th, there's going to be um, some mystery bags here. I don't really like the mystery bags so much because I don't know what I'm going to get. And I tend to not find that I've gotten things that I like for that money. But those are really cute bags there. There's one that's red metallic and one that's a hot pink metallic. So then there's going to be on August 22nd, there's going to be a Wander Beauty capsule. That'll be interesting to see what that is. And then... September 1st is when, you know, we build the next box up. So they also have some sneak peeks of September choices here. And some of these look pretty interesting. Um, I don't know, Olivia Uma, uh, the dry bar, uh, three in one texturize and finishing spray looked pretty good. The Il Maquillage blush, baked blush looked really good to me. Um, a Mish, Mishko, um, or Mishho, Mishcho, Mishcho Beauty, a contour stick looks interesting. A rapid repair serum from Dermalac looks interesting. And there's a Galactic Rose Petal Dewy Face Mist. And also, there's a code on here um, to get 25% off. This is for, um, I guess, what the website is is Charming or something. So it didn't say what the website is. It has a, a QR code, but the code would be charming25 for 25% off a craving mixes, cookbooks, and more. So that's interesting. We'll have to go on there and see what that is. Okay, so let's see what we got. So this box is $30, and I do get the boost. So um, that's $15. So basically, I paid $45 for what we're about to see. Okay, so the first item that they chose for me, and I do have this on today, is the uh, Better Than Sex Mascara. This is a volumizing mascara. I think I have had it in the past, um, and I thought that maybe it was, um, it flaked a little bit later in the day. So we'll have to see, but also I do have, and I don't have this on today, a primer that would probably help with that. So um, I did put on two coats. It's a really heavy, uh, uh, it's a heavy unit here. And the brush is really nice because I like the one that um, is fluffy like this. And also um, this tip here helps um, helps with making sure you're getting the inner lashes. So it's black and I think I'm gonna like it. So we'll have to give it a try and see. So that is a $29 product. So then they chose for me this Iconic London and I really like this. I do have this on today. This is an Iconic London Treat Yourself Eyeshadow Palette. And it comes with a little uh, thing here. And this is what the colors are. And I really like this because, um, and it's hard to, you know, this is, an, a, this is a ring right here, and it's hard to, there's the colors. There's the best color thing right there. And it does come with a, a mirror here. So I went ahead and I put on, um, I went ahead and put on the blue colors today because I thought that these would be ones that would look good with what I'm wearing. So that's what I chose. So I chose um, this light color. And then I chose this blue color here. I chose this color and I chose this color. So these are the colors that I have on. And what I also like about this palette is that I can, I like that it's light colors because I always like the light colors better. And I like blues and I like pinks. And I also like, um, if I'm gonna go with neutral colors, I like the colors that are, are more 
a, a lighter color like that. So there's just so much that I have that I can do with this one. I'm very, very happy to have it. This is a $62 value, so I'm very happy with that. Okay, so then I get to choose three items. Um, and so I could have chosen um, in category one, a, a buxom uh, plump skin, a shot, plump shot for the lip, the Yensa Super Silk Concealer, and I do have both of those things. The Vacation SPF 30, I do have that. An, an Amica, um, it's called Amica Undone Volume for Hair. Thought about that. Um, Il Maquillage uh, Highlighter, and or the, a, the Anastasia uh, Beverly Hills Brow Pencil, and I chose the Il Maquillage Highlighter, and I do have this on today. And this is a $40 value. And this is in the shade Halo. I do like Il Maquillage. I like their um, their foundation is really about the best I found. I, I wear 40 and it matched me really well. I actually went on and um, I have trouble getting a match on foundation um, because I actually have just neutral skin. <laughs> so, um, warm doesn't work for me but anyway and neither does cool i'm sort i'm really in neutral but um it was the 40 that works for me in in il maquillage so this is the halo uh color which is a light color and this is what it looks like and this is what it looks like on the skin so i also have eyeshadow uh by this brand and i also have mascara and i really like it so this was a good choice item for me now i used it right here here, here, and a little bit up here, and then right up underneath the eyebrow. So uh, I really like it. So that's a good one. So in, in category two, I could have chosen the Luna Beauty, uh, it was a liquid uh, blush. And I thought about that. Um, the BYO D3 piece face brush set, I really didn't need that. The Penrose Wild Child uh, Rollerball uh, perfume, a Trust Fund Beauty lipstick, um, an Everclean uh, face cleansing oil, or the Fleur and B uh, Eyes Eyes Baby uh, Eye Cream, and this is what I chose, and this is a actually a $65 value. I'm using eye cream two times a day, sometimes a little bit more if I want to put it underneath the makeup. So what this one does is, uh, and I do have this on today on my left eye because I actually have on my right eye, I have um, another thing that's going to be in this box. So this targets a uh, puffiness, fine lines, and dark circles, and it revitalizes tired eyes. Okay. Now i did not have this product. I do have the serum by this brand, and I haven't seen it in a while. So when I saw this, I thought, you know, this is a pretty good one for me. So it comes with actually a little, uh, oh, you can get some kind of little set here. Wow, through November 30th, I can get this, this discovery set for five bucks. That may be interesting. I may have to look into that. So here is the product here. And it's got a little cover. It has a very minor clean smell to it. So I am really interested in giving that a try. Okay, so category three, uh, there was a What's Up Beauty product and I don't remember what it was. Um, the K K Voss NYC Lip Potion, thought about that. Context Skin Shimmer Eye Stick, didn't need that. The Lovecraft Retractable Liner or Lip Pen, I thought about that. Uh, the con Context, well no, that was what, it, oh, Context Skin Bronzer. And I didn't need that. So what I chose was the Farrah, and I do have one of these colors on today, is the Farrah gel eyeliner duo and it's supposed to be long lasting now i like gel eyeliners the best and i and i use them under on the lower lash line i use a liquid eyeliner on the upper lash line so here's what they they look like and together this is a 20 eight dollar value so they'd be 14 dollars each so there's a wine color 
And this is the one I have on today. It's sort of a darker purple. And there's the black, okay? So I'm very happy with, with both of these and probably, no, they don't have the thing on the other end where you can sharpen it up, but you don't really need to that much with, with this. Okay, so really happy to have that. So those are the items that I could have chosen. Now my boost item, I got the Natasha Denona Love Face Palette. I didn't really see anything else that I liked that much. Uh, this is a $62 product. So for the five items, I spent $30 and got $224 of value. And with this item, item added on for an extra $15, my total box of the things that I could have chosen. Now I did get add-ons, but um, it was $286. So that's pretty good for a um, for $45. Okay, this is very reflective here. So that that's a really, it, they're always nice. Natasha Denona products are nice. And this is what the product looks like. It's got a mirror and then it's got a, uh, like a highlighter and a blush that are underneath a cover here. And I like that. And then they've got five colors and these are colors that I like and I wear. And I, I really enjoyed other blushes and other eyeshadows by this brand. I'm gonna go ahead, um, since I didn't do any, I didn't swatch the other palette, I'm gonna swatch a little bit of the eyeshadow on this one. Okay, here's the first four here. You see that's a shiny one, the fourth one in there. So let's see what these look like. One, oh, a lot of color coming here. And then we got one more that we're gonna look at. Okay, so these are the colors here. Those are pretty. And I've just, these are, these is a good shadow. I mean, this, she has a very good uh, formula. So I'm gonna be happy to, to play with that and enjoy that. And let's see here what this, uh, what this blush looks like and this highlighter. Ooh, that is creamy. I thought it was gonna be powder. Okay, so the highlighter is a powder and that blush is actually creamy. And this is what they look like. And here they are right here. So that's just, I'm gonna enjoy it. I know I am, so I'm very happy to have that. Okay, so let's move on to our add-ons here and see what I got because I always enjoy getting add-ons uh, when these items aren't chosen for me. I like to see what else there is and get them at a very, very good price. I don't think I paid over $12 for any of these add-ons. And if you watch me, you know I, I typically get um, the maximum is 10 and I'm typically I'm typically getting that many because this is my favorite box. I get a couple of other boxes, but this is my favorite one. Now they did not choose this for me, but I like this Ofra. I had thought about getting, this is the Hot Mess um, Mama palette. Um, it's called Unconditional. And if you, I'm sure a lot of people on YouTube uh, watch her. I, I do watch her. And I, when this came out, I had thought about it, but I just, I just didn't get it. But I think this is a good fall palette. I like that um, it has the names here of the, of the products. So what it is, this is gonna have um, a blush, like a, uh, I guess this is gonna be a, a, a highlighter here and then, um, some, I guess maybe a bronzer or contour here. And then these I think are, are pretty much eyeshadows. I do like that this is, this is an eyeshadow. It's actually like a highlighter and it's called uh, Sweet and Sassy. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna be interested to try this. Now, honestly, I'm probably, uh, I'm gonna probably stick over here with the eyeshadows because I just, dark colors just don't look as good on me. Um, I think I will enjoy that purple one though. And I know I'm gonna enjoy uh, this this one here. And I know I'm gonna get use out of this one here. Okay, so those are the those three right there. And I'm gonna take a look at 
let's see, there's three. This one here too. Okay, that would be good for the crease. And then there's another one here, okay. So these are pretty, I'm gonna enjoy using those. So they're sort of light, I'd have to use it two times. But I actually prefer eyeshadows that really don't have a lot of color. I just like a little bit of color. And I did use, um, this is the blush here today. I did use this blush and I like it, okay? So I already had the other highlighter on, so I, I didn't use this highlighter. But I know I will, there's a lot of things, you know, that's a palette. I mean, that is, you can do a lot of things with it. It's not just an eyeshadow palette. Okay, so that was a $39 value that I got for $12. Okay, so they did not choose for me, but it looked really interesting. This Femu uh, Ideal Intense Eye Cream. Okay, this is a $90 product. And this is a, it's more of a luxury brand. That's a pretty expensive eye cream. So it's so, supposed to hydrate the delicate eye area and help promote um, uh, brightening and a more radiant appearance. It's infused with Camilla oil and enriched with uh, hyaluronic acid. So I put this one on the right eye today. I'm going to do that a few days and see if I see a difference between the Fleur and B and then this one. So here's what it looks like. And it just has a very minor minor smell so we'll see we'll see which one performs better with me don't know they could both be really good so we'll have to just wait and see on that okay so then I could have I got these patchology eye gels I use eye gels a lot about every at least every day if not every other day and this one is called serve chilled on ice and I think that they really do intend for you to maybe put it in the refrigerator before you use it but this is a firming eye gel that uh, it smooths the skin and depuffs it cools on contact it has a back of oil I guess that's the way you pronounce it cloudberry acid and nine peptides. It is great for bags and fine lines and also the puffiness that was mentioned earlier. So this product is a $35 product. So I don't know that I'm gonna open this other than here um, because I don't want any of the moisture to come out of there and I do have some others, and uh, at least one open right now. That I have, actually I think it's another patchology one. So I am really happy to, to get to play with that and try that. Okay, now this next item, I was really happy to be able to get this as an add-on because it wasn't chosen for me. And I think this is actually was in the icon box for some people. Um, I went ahead and chose it over here as an add-on. This is a $160 product. This is the Cat Berkey Form Control Marine Gel, Marine Collagen Gel. So it says Reversal, Lift and Fill, Form Control, Marine Collagen Gel. Okay, so I have other products by this brand and I like every one of them that I have. Uh, that's a pretty pricey item though. It's not gonna be something I'm gonna wanna pay full price for. So anyway, um, so it lifts, contours, and plumps. And it's fortified with marine collagen. It has 14 elasticity supporting ingredients including silk amino acids, uh, plants, plant stem cells, and hyaluronic acid. So I am gonna really, oh, something got on me. It has just a minor marine smell to it. Um, not much of a smell at all, so I'm really happy to, to get to try that one. Okay, and that's the first time I've seen that one too, by the way. Okay, so the Key Soul Care had this uh, concealer tint, and this is not for the eye area. What this is, it's, I think it's like a skin tint, which would mean that you could use it instead of makeup. And also, if you had like blemishes or dark spots, you could cover that. So, 
I think this is a newer product. I've never seen it before. So I was happy to get a chance to try it. Um, I did not use it as like a, um, as my skin tint today. I think it would be the right shade for me. I don't think the medium would have been one that would work. So you're supposed to spread it on and then it's supposed to set in about, about 30 seconds. So I've already had on a different makeup today, but I'm interested to see how that works. And that's a pretty good size. So I don't think it's just meant to be a concealer. And by the way, it's buildable. So after 30 seconds, you could put some more on. And so the, the retail of that is $28. Okay, so then I got Makeup Forever, two different Makeup Forever lipsticks. One of them is a 24 hour version and one of them is just like more of a lipstick. So they were both, um, they were both $25. And by the way, this, if I didn't say it, this is a $28 product here. Okay, so let's see the two that I got. Okay, here they are. This is the 24 hour one and I did tell you, I put some on my, my hand and it did not want to come off after it sets. So this is what the applicator looks like. We're gonna put a little bit on here. Okay, that's the color. And that's a pretty color, a good neutral color for me. Okay, now this one I do have on today. This one, sort of like on the, the container because then it just looks like a regular, regular lipstick tube. And here it is. And I think that's a very good color for me. There. Okay, so this one is more of a lipstick and it doesn't stay on 24 hours. Um, we'll have to see whether this other one is, is drying or not, but it's not gonna come off. It, it really is gonna be one that stays on. So if I like it and it's not too drying, if you know maybe they have it in some other colors, I can try that out too. So, Ooh, I was really excited about this. I did try this. Um, this is the Biro uh, Black Cherry Plump Oil, and it's a $40 product. So this is a thing, I think it's a newer product for them. They usually have uh, more skin products. Um, that looked really interesting. <laughs> and that's pretty expensive for lip oil, but their products are expensive. They are very good products. I use them all the time, um, whether it's a moisturizer or a, um, uh, I love their toners. Uh, they have some other products that are really good too. So here it is. It's actually a flat kind of thing. And you would just sort of, you know, put it on like a little, it's really just, it's unusual but I guess it'll hold up for a long time. It doesn't really have much of a smell. Now I will tell you when I did try it on, I did notice that it had, it felt like it had a, a plumping capacity. So what it is, it's a, a supple cherry, um, I, get it, I guess it does actually have cherries in it, um, lip glaze. So it's a plumping oil. It has nourishing oils like jojoba and sunflower seed, and it soothes dry chapped lips while adding a glossy finish. So I'm really happy to get to try that. Didn't even, I, I didn't even know it was out there. I, I think sometimes these are actually new products in here. Okay, so just two more, two, actually three more things to go. <laughs> um, I got this Kosas lipstick. It's weightless. It's a weightless lip color and it is Fantasy Life. And I think this was mostly in the Icon box. Uh, not chosen for me, but this is a $26 product. I like Kosas products, so I was happy to get to try this. This is a neutral color, and here is the container here. And I'm going to put this up higher here, and that is that color right there. So it's sort of a neutral pinky color. And it's, it seems like it's gonna feel really nice on lips. So I'm happy to have that one as well. And then the last item that I chose, I do have one point item in here, is this Fenty 
uh, Watch Your Tone Niacinamide Dark Spot Serum. Here it is here. I do have a few uh, dark spots, not many. Sometimes when I have a blemish, that's a dark spot. I have, you know, a little darkness here. And so this has vitamin C and niacinamide. Now you have to be careful with this because here's the container and you actually push it from the bottom and you see it, it comes out like that. You don't want to push it and push it up because it's going to go everywhere. So I'm interested to, to give that a try and, and you know, with when I do have a little dark spot, trying to see if we can get rid of it before it gets to be too much down the road. Because as you get older, I mean, that, that's something that's going to happen. And sometimes people have it anyway. You know, after blemish, you'll, you'll, that'll happen. So, okay. So the last item is these blush drops from Road Isle. And this was a point item. And it was 600 points. So I did play with it a little bit earlier today, and it's a, it's like a combination of a highlighter. This is what it looks like, and this is the true trial size. It's a combination of a highlighter and a blush. Okay, this is mostly a skincare brand, but they do have, I think they do have like mascara and also, um, here it is here, and so. It's a pretty color. Um, you can spread it out. When you spread it out, you really can't see it very much. So I'll have to play with it um, and see what, what we can do with it. Okay, so I wanted to point out um, just you, this is a uh, this is what I use today as a foundation. This was not part of this box. This is, I think, a fairly new product by Charlotte Tilbury, and this is the Unreal Skin Sheer Glow Tint in the color. Uh, three fair and I just wanted to point out I absolutely love this um, it's it's creamy but yet not over creamy and there it is there it's just absolutely a wonderful wonderful foundation for when you're on the go and as you can see it, it, it covers but it also has a little bit of highlight on it so I just wanted to point it out um, because then that's the rest of the face look everything that we uh, that we looked at today but look at that isn't that beautiful so this is just an excellent excellent product and I was on the hunt for a um, a cream product like this. Uh, there's several people that have come out with them or already had them, but this one seems to work the best on my skin. So I wanted to point it out. So anyway, that's everything. So uh, I hope you enjoyed looking at the things that I got as much as I enjoyed going through them. And also, I know I'm gonna enjoy these and I'll, I'll be playing with them for a while because this is a really good box. And I just love the ability to get the add-ons to um, because they're products I, I either don't have or products that I've had and I really love them. So anyway, that's everything for today. Hopefully the icon box will be here sometime next week. I don't know that it's even shipped though. So, and I do get glam bags too. And so maybe we'll see some other boxes next week like Fab Fit Fun. Anyway, thank you for stopping by and have a great day.